Senator O'Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. President. It did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ben. My question is to the Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Fifield. Can the Minister inform the Senate how the Coalition Government will deliver the NDIS? And can the Minister also advise what measures were for the National Disability Insurance Scheme in the budget? The Assistant Minister for Social Services, uh, Senator Fifield. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Uh, well, uh, I can advise the Senate that Labor's month-long scare campaign in relation to the NDIS leading up to the budget uh, came to what it always was going to, and that is a complete misrepresentation of this government's intentions. Mr President, uh, this government has always been committed to the National Disability Insurance Scheme. This government is committed to delivering the National Disability Insurance Scheme in full. We are committed to delivering the National Disability Insurance Scheme within the agreed funding envelope. But, Mr. President, uh, there was uh, another item uh, in the budget in relation to the NDIS which you may not have uh, picked up, and that is that the previous government uh, misapplied an efficiency dividend. They misapplied it because they made it count, they made it cover package costs for the NDIS. So in the budget this week, uh, we are returning an extra $44 million uh, to the NDIS uh, that the previous government wanted to take away. So far from this government seeking to wind back or cut the NDIS, it's this government that is actually returning to the NDIS funding that the previous government was intending to cut. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, uh, we are committed to the NDIS. We're committed to rolling it out in full, but we're also equally committed to making sure that the NDIS has sound foundations. Uh, we know, uh, we know from uh, work commissioned by the independent board of the NDIS, uh, the board appointed under the previous government. We know from work that they commissioned that uh, the decision of the previous government to bring forward the commencement of trial sites by a year has compromised some of the key capabilities of the agency. But we are determined to address those key capabilities so that the scheme is rolled out well and rolled out in full. Senator O'Sullivan. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, supplementary question. Can the minister further advise the Senate how the government is delivering on its commitment to implement the NDIS? Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr President. Uh, only uh, a week or two ago, uh, the Prime Minister uh, with the uh, member for Karangamite, the Premier of Victoria uh, and myself uh, opened the national headquarters of the NDIS in Geelong. And it was a great day and a great day for jobs uh, for the Barwon region. Um, Mr President, uh, the Prime Minister uh, also, uh, within the last uh, few weeks, uh, signed an agreement with the Northern Territory Government uh, for the commencement of trial sites on the 1st of July. Uh, the Prime Minister also, uh, about a month ago, uh, signed an agreement with the Premier of Western Australia uh, for trial sites in Western Australia. Uh, and can I say, uh, those, those actions, in combination with the budget uh, announcement in relation to returning that efficiency dividend money to the scheme, um, are not the actions of a government that is intent on doing anything other than delivering the NDIS in full. Senator O'Sullivan. A further supplementary, Mr. President. Can the Minister advise the Senate of any obstacles to the delivery of the NDIS? Minister. I, I can, uh, Mr. Mr. President. And, and the obstacle, and it's uh, an unfortunate one, is uh, the temptation which those opposite can never resist uh, to seek to bring the NDIS uh, into the mire of partisanship. Um, I would hope, uh, and I think, uh, I think uh, all fair minded colleagues. Uh, would hope that the NDIS is something that can be elevated beyond partisanship. And can I cite as an example of the approach that should be taken the Joint Parliamentary Committee uh, for the NDIS, chaired by Mr Mal Bruff. Uh, the members on that committee, uh, I must pay credit to, members and senators from all parties uh, are approaching their task, approaching their work. Uh, in a very non-partisan way and are simply seeking to make the NDIS the very best that it can be, which is the approach of this government. And for those opposite who are on occasion attempted to cause unnecessary concern amongst Australians with disability, uh, I would say to them, stop, get Order. on board Your time has and let's— expired. Sen Senator Abetz.